Hello and welcome to Karma Comedian Makeup for Mental Health. This is a series that premieres every Saturday, 3pm UK time. There's a live chat which is kind of like an online virtual cafe where you can meet up with other people in the comments, like the live chat comments. Um, I'm always there. Um, there's always a really lovely bunch of people in the live chat so please don't be afraid to jump in and chat away. Um, I'm gonna dive right on in but first apologise. I have done my base already. I, I'm having a really hard time with the pain today so while I was waiting for the painkillers to kick in I just quickly chucked this on. I, I didn't feel up to filming whilst in that much pain so apologies but yes I have done my base and I've primed my eyes with the P. Louise Base Pro in Rumor 02 and yeah let's uh let's crack on so the palette I'm going in with today is the Blooming Lovely palette from Sample Beauty I did pick this up when it came out but due to not being able to film as much as I wanted to yeah, it kind of got lost, but this is the colour story. It is absolutely stunning and right up my alley. So I have been desperate to try this shade since I got it. So I'm going in with Sprouting in my crease. I'm using a brush from Cosmic Brushes, which is a UK indie brand. Um, I love these brushes. Um, I also love the eyeshadow palette. That I got from them. Shove my nail in my eye <laughs> and just take this through the crease. This, this colour is stunning. I do know that I love the formula from Sample Beauty and Sample Beauty is also a UK brand and I have a couple of handful of palettes from them and I love everything, every eyeshadow that I've tried from them, so this was kind of a no-brainer that I would get it. I just feel really sad that I never got around to filming with it whilst it was still new. I mean, it's not like it's old, but yeah, it is an absolutely gorgeous colour story. So yeah. Um, I don't actually have much to to talk about like in regards to my week um, because this week has been just mostly filled with doing nothing much because the pain has kind of gotten the better of me this week but I am here now and hopefully the painkillers have kicked in enough already so hopefully I will get through this without you having to see me <laughs> struggling with the pain too much anyway so oh I'm in love with this shade so in love with this shade you know I did feel really bad for not using it when it when I first got it but Oh well, we are using it now. It's still available. This colour is too dyeable. Well, speaking of eyeshadows, actually, um, Beauty Bay are releasing a collection with Disney, and there are three eyeshadow palettes. There are six pan eyeshadow palettes. Um, one is Dumbo, um, one is Jungle Book, and the other one is Alice in Wonderland. I will be picking up the three palettes. I love Disney. I am a sucker for Disney stuff. So yeah, I'm very excited to be getting those. Also, as some of you may know, um, I am a huge fan of Halloween. Spooky season 
and Nomad Cosmetics, which is one of my absolute favourite brands, are bringing out a palette for the spooky season. And they're just like sneak peeking at the moment. But I already know that I am going to be getting it as a birthday present. My birthday falls around Halloween and Halloween is has always been when I've celebrated my birthday just because it's more fun. You can dress up that bit more and yeah, I think this year I am going fingers crossed to a live gig. It's one where I can just sit down and uh, enjoy the music because it is a friend of mine who I've actually mentioned quite a lot on my channel because during lockdown he was doing a lot of uh, like online gigs on Facebook and oh, I had so much fun. It was like going to a live gig from your sofa and I absolutely loved it and Rob's just a great guy his other half Izzy is fantastic and I haven't met Izzy yet so I'm super excited to go to this gig right do I want to blend that out yet don't want to blend it out with anything at all so I really want to dip into that yellow I'm just going to go for it so I'm going in with a pollen. I really want to try this yellow. It looks so pretty. It's more of a pastel -y yellow. There is a brighter yellow in there. But I just want to see what this one does. Obviously being pastel, it's not going to... Oh, I don't know, actually. Okay. Well, this is more impressive than I thought it was going to be. really like this this yellow is cute and it is showing up enough and i can imagine if i pop this on a sticky base and packed it on this is actually going to show up nicely oh interesting i do love yellow eyeshadow yeah this week i've been just trying to i've been watching a lot of youtube videos i haven't necessarily commented on all of them just purely because i've been in so much pain but i've been catching up with a lot of my friends videos and uh one person whose face i do really miss seeing more regularly but she has a very good excuse and she now has her own salon and i am so excited for her and just so incredibly proud of what she's achieved and that is Katie make up for lost time she is just one of the most inspirational people ever um if you don't like bad language then uh maybe you won't love us so much um but I I absolutely adore her she is super talented. The looks she creates are always amazing. Yeah, so I'm going back in with Sprouting, the first colour. Yes, yeah, so I will link Katie's channel. She's Makeup for Lost Time. I'll link her channel in the description box below because uh, if you've not checked her out already, you really need to. There's plenty to catch up on while we wait for her to... Uh, upload some videos she has a lot on there yeah if you want some inspiration for some really beautiful colorful looks or if you just want some just a, a fun time then yeah head over to katie's channel and check her out well i'm loving this combo a lot and this green in particular, not that you could probably tell too much. Uh, maybe a bit. No, I'm loving this. 
Right, let's get a smaller brush. Oh, I didn't say what that one was. This is a Morphe, I don't know what it doesn't say, just a kind of fluffy brush. And now I'm going to grab, where are you? I'm going to grab a Spectrum A12. These are one of my absolute favorite brushes for eyeshadows, possibly my favorite. Um, oh, let's just go straight on in with a photosynthesis. This is really deep kind of sea green, would you call it? I'm terrible at describing colors, but I am going straight into my outer V and outer crease here. I can deepen that up in a bit if I want. I will use sprouting to blend out the top of that because if I keep blending up, I'm just gonna end up with this color up too high. I do really love this color though. This is absolutely stunning. I have also been say also i've been catching up on some of my uh my friends videos um just to name a few there's erica um marina anki steph i'll uh, link all of their channels in the description box below because all of them deserve so much love also, I haven't actually headed over to check it out just as yet because I only found out this morning. But Nikki Raven has started a new channel, a vlog one, um, where she's going to be like filming, going shopping, and I think she's got one video up already, um, which I'm excited to go and watch. yeah that's pretty much been my week oh there is one other really exciting thing um on the isle of Wight, which is actually where i'm from they have i'm not sure it was like two years ago two three years ago um they released some white-tailed eagles um into the wild over here um it's a project to try and get them re-established in the uk I believe it was nine that they released and it's been really successful uh, one of them I believe it's only one that has really established itself on the Isle of Wight but the others have been spotted around the UK I believe they've also ventured into Europe so it's a really exciting project and they have just released another 12 of these white-tailed eagles. So I'm so excited to see you know, what happens if the one that's already established on the island finds a mate. I just find it really exciting. Just, I love stuff like that. I think anything that helps to bring back lost wildlife is so important because us as human beings have just completely wiped out so many species just through greed of place i'm just going back in with sprouting to blend them together so yeah anything wildlife related you know, conservation i love anything like that and I just think it's so important I mean there's so many species that just shouldn't be extinct or like protected because they're declining just because of us as a greedy species that thinks we own everything um, it's, I'm not going to talk about it too much because I do get very passionate about it it makes me so angry um but yeah seeing projects like this where these species are being given well given back what's rightfully theirs if that makes sense um because they have as much right to 
live in this world in their habitats as we do so to spray the shimmers i'm going to use the makeup obsessions so don't fixing spray oh my words um i just i always use it for spraying my shadows what is wrong with me right i'm going to try something a bit different today brush wise i'm going to use a spectrum a07 and i did say what all of those were didn't i yes Crikey, I've lost the plot. And <laughs> I'm going to go into Stigma, which is this beautiful green shimmer. Kind of sticking with the, the green theme here. Okay, right, so these are like the ones from the Beauty Bay Wilderness palette. Look, putty. I don't know why that gets me all exciting, but exciting, excited. Um, I, I loved those. I don't think I'm going to need to spray then, really. Now let's uh, get this on the outer part. Ooh, look at that. Oh, that is beautiful. Yeah, the one good thing with these kind of putty like shimmers is you don't get that fallout. <laughs> this is so much fun squidging around the shadow oh, these colors really do make me feel good right so for the inner part of my lid i want to go in with occasion this shade here or do i yeah i do so i'm just going in with just a morphe little kind of flat fluffyish brush and yeah this one isn't as uh, much of the putty formula so i will spray this one just not to get any fallout let's see what happens Ooh. oh this is stunning i don't want necessarily a kind of cut creasy look i just want just a nice Fun look. This shade is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Look at that. It's completely wiped out the bit of green it's gone over. That is stunning. I'm just going to go back in with Stigma, that green shimmer because i don't want to lose it completely to this uh beautiful goldy shade i'm just going to kind of tap it over a bit just to make sure it's not lost yes i am happy with how this is looking i'm just dipping into photosynthesis that deeper deeper green matte I'm just going to just poke that in right at the the very outer edge there. Beautiful. I love that I don't feel the need to bring in a black. That has created enough depth. So I'm just taking, did I see what that was? Yes. <laughs> so I'm just taking a Jessup 226 smudger. And just going into photosynthesis, the deeper green matte, ever so slightly. I'm just going to take it right against the lash line and join it up to the upper lid there. And then I'm just taking this little Morphe brush, doesn't have a name or number, and I am going to, am I, I'm going to go in with Save the Bees, it's the brighter yellow, I love that name. It is a bit dusty, but it's a yellow, most of them are, oh, okay, this has, bear in mind, my under eyes aren't primed i do have concealer on but it is set 
this is a nice yellow. I don't know why I'm surprised because uh, I don't know they can do a nice yellow. But, oh, where am I getting all these hairs from? I have no idea. They just keep appearing on my brush. <sighs> the joys of keeping cats and dogs. I've never known anything like it, the, like cat and dog hair, literally it gets everywhere, absolutely everywhere, but they're so worth it. Today we don't have either of them in the room, I think they were just feeling a little antisocial today. <laughs> then Mr Fluff's been uh, spending more time in his box, he has a cardboard box that he loves and <laughs> It's got the lid flaps down, so he can like lift it up to get himself in and whatever. But when he's coming out, he reminds me of a Jack in a Box. <laughs> so I say, well, I call it a catch in a box because he pokes his little head up and yeah, I like a Jack in a Box. I don't know if you can see in the background, that's a Jack in a Box that I've had since I was a young kid and he's just hung around with me for all these years he's really old i was a very very young when i got him i couldn't even tell you how old my mum probably could but <laughs> yeah okay so i had to take a very quick break um just because of the pain but anyways whilst i was i did have a look up um research a bit more on the white-tailed eagles that were released on the Isle of Wight. So for my inner corner and brow bone highlight I'm going to be using the VE Cosmetics Divine Highlight. Um, I love this, this is amazing, amazing, I'm always raving about it. So what happened was there were six birds released in 2019 and having proved successful a further seven released last year in 2020 oh look at this this is stunning um so yeah what was i yeah further <laughs> further seven birds were released last year um so yeah they've been absent for over 240 years because of humans like in the uk so uh this project um, is aiming to release 60 birds over five years. So breeding activity is not expected until 2024 at the earliest because they're all juveniles that are being released. Um, all of the birds have consistently returned to the Isle of Wight where they were released. Um, they've been traveling around the UK. One has been on a right jolly um so one bird has been to well has spent time in france the netherlands germany and denmark so yeah quite the little traveler that one um but it's so encouraging to hear of projects like this working um oh i did use a pract pencil brush from sigma my in the corner and then I'm going in with a little Morphe tiny pencily one. Um it doesn't have a name. Yeah, for my brow bone highlight. Yeah, that was really just I don't know, one of the highlights of my week. I found that really exciting. So highlights it was only this morning that <laughs> Oh, I'm going to shush. <laughs> it has just really excited me. It's a project I'm very excited about. So yes, now you all know. So yeah. So, what have you guys been up to? Has there been anything exciting that's... Uh, just kind of caught your interest recently and yeah let me know your thoughts on uh, on these kind of projects obviously everybody be kind everyone has 
different viewpoints. Um, yeah, I find it extremely exciting. Right, mascara. So for mascara, I am going in with the e.l.f. Keep Your Curl mascara. I've been really enjoying this. Um, I don't know if I'm going to put on false lashes yet today, but we shall see. Let's see how these lashes look. These lashes, my lashes. This is a, a really nice mascara. It reminds me a lot of the Benefit one, the Roller Lash. I used to love, but I wouldn't use now because they're not cruelty free. But this does remind me a lot of it. Um, I don't have that one anymore, so I can't do a direct comparison. But having used that a lot in the past... I would say this is a pretty good alternative. Pretty good alternative. So for In My Waterline, I am going to go with the Colourpop BFF Cream Gel Liner in the shade Crybaby. I've been really, really loving this shade. I mean, I love these um, cream gel liners anyways. This shade is really nice. It's really pretty I really like it can you tell <laughs> yeah I think that goes really nicely I was tempted to just go with the obvious green or yellow but I don't know I just wanted to mix it up a little bit Add something a bit different. Oh, I'm just gonna chuck some mascara on the lower lashes. I'm actually excited. I have a blush palette that I haven't tried yet. I've had it for a, a while, um, but just I was kind of waiting for a full face of first impressions, but. I think I just wanted to wanted to try it out because I know other people have really loved this blush palette, which I will show you in just a moment. That's another good thing about this mascara. It's easy to get the lower lashes. And I haven't found that it's kind of smudged or anything. So far, so good. So, for blush, I'm so excited for this. Um, let me get a blusher brush first. Do I want to use you? Yeah, I do actually. Um, oh, just the packaging on this. I am going to keep it in the box just because I love the packaging on the box as well. Yeah, Likely Makeup is a... I'm not sure where from. It's an indie brand. Um, I want to say Australia, might be US. But yeah. Anyways, that's the outer box and the palette itself just, God, how cute is that? Just look, look at that little face. How freaking adorable is that? And then on the back, it's got the uh, shade names for the blushes. And then inside, under the mirror, it says, hi, pretty. And then you have these four amazingly beautiful blushes. Really more unusual colours. I don't know which one I want to go in with. See, I really want to go in with the green or the peach. Mm. <laughs> what one do I want to go in with? I am... Um, I'm just going to go for it. I'm going in with Aquamarine. I have never worn a green blush before, but I really want to. So yeah, let's have a see how this goes. I might end up looking like I have a bruised cheek. Please excuse Poppy. That might well be the postman at this time. That is so cute. 
Yeah, I've never tried a cream blush before. Yeah, I'm not sure that it suits me, but today we are going with it. I might add a bit of sunstone as well. I'm going to add a bit of the sunstone peach because, uh, yeah. Yeah, I think that might be better. <laughs> oh, this palette is lovely. I do love these blushes. I think that works beautifully. Oh, I like this a lot. I have to show you again. Look at the packaging. That fairy, that fairy is the cutest fairy I've ever seen in my whole life. Let's go in with some highlighter. I'm going to be using the V Cosmetics Divine Highlight that I used for my inner corner, inner corner and brow bone highlight. I love this so much and it is the perfect highlight for this look. Oof, look at that. Stunning. Yeah, I think this highlight is definitely up there as one of my favourites. I do reach for it a lot. Um, I could probably do like a favourite highlighters um, and favourite blushes things. I could definitely do videos like that. When it comes to palettes, I can't. <laughs> I am no good. No good. Yeah, this highlight is just at that perfection right so uh, just give it a quick go over with the blush brush just to make sure they are nicely blended together oh i love it i'm going to chuck on some of my Too faced lip injection extreme instant and long-term lip plumper this is the bony bony one that i'm still trialing out i'm still not convinced it works but i'm hopeful hmm okay so i want to try because I haven't used this yet. It's the Aboni Cosmetics liquid lipstick and it is in the shade Frenchy. Yeah, I haven't used this as yet, so I really want to give it a go and I think it's going to look good with this look. This is gorgeous. I don't know why I hadn't tried this yet. Oh, I do have to say, this feels so comfortable. Oh, I love this colour. Oh, let me know what you guys think in either the live chat, if you're here for the live chat, or in the comment section below if you hear it at a later date. Yeah, I am, I'm living for this look today. I love it. And I'm so surprised to say that because I have no false lashes on, but I don't mind. I don't mind that today. So yeah, apologies, it's a shorter comic chameleon than usual, but I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much to all of you that are here in the live chat for the premiere. I'm sure it's been buzzing with great conversation as always and if you're watching at a later date later time thank you so much for watching i appreciate every single one of you so much more than you will ever know so thank you thank you thank you and yeah 
if you've enjoyed this video please give it a like thumbs up um that helps me out if you are new or if you've been watching a few videos and haven't subscribed as yet then uh, if you like this style of makeup colorful um discovering maybe indie brands that you haven't heard of before um because i do love to support indie brands that is the main focus of my channel um so yeah if that sounds like something you're interested in please hit the subscribe button and yeah if you hit the notification bell then youtube will notify you when i upload a new video but again thank you so much for joining me today i hope you're all having a great day great evening wherever you are and whatever you're doing i hope you're taking care of yourselves i will see you again very very soon goodbye Thank you.